What was your favorite part that you performed? My favorite role that I performed, well, I want to say probably my groundbreaking role that changed everything for me was uh, when I played Jackie Wilson in the Jackie Wilson story at the Black Ensemble Theater. So I did that for three years. Jackie Taylor is, is a genius. She's like, like my theater mom. Well, who did the theater festival in D.C.? Did you uh -huh. do it there? and a great young man. We're glad to have him on the show today. Get your hands together for Chester Gregory. Woo! <laughs> I'm missing a bell. <laughs> you dig oh, me. I found it. Woo! Hey, brother, thank you, man, hey. for jumping on in a, in a moment's notice. How you doing, man? Man, my pleasure, man. It's great to see you. It's great to see you. Yeah, great to be wow. here. Thank you for having me. You look at your energy. Your energy come right out, dude. I love it. You're an actor. Yeah, yeah. Are you currently on the project now? I am currently, what am I doing now? Well, right now I've been doing like mostly coaching and doing like some spot dates with with, with shows and stuff like that and uh, with mm -hmm. orchestra gigs and stuff. And um, it's been, um, this has been Wait. great. I've also been, uh-huh. You said an orchestra gig? <laughs> Did yeah. you say that? Yeah. What's the orchestra gig? So it's when you perform with an orchestra. So I, I perform um, several shows with a few different orchestras, and we do a uh, like a show that's a tribute to the Motown era called Dancing in the Street. And then we have another show that we do called Kings of, Stol Kings of Soul. And okay, yeah. hold on. You lost me. I thought you were an actor. You're also a actor, but I'm also, I am an actor, but I'm also a singer, too. So, what? Uh, and so you'll sing with a whole orchestra behind you? Mm hmm mm hmm That's off the chain. How long yeah. you been singing? How long you been singing? Man, I've been doing this pretty much my whole life. I've been doing it professionally for about 20 years now. So, yeah. So did you start singing in the church first? No, I started, well, I'm from Gary, Indiana, so I started out singing by imitating Michael Jackson and all of that stuff. Oh, I thought, <laughs> I thought you were going to say you learned how to sing Dodging Bullets in Gary, Indiana. But no, uh... <laughs> Right, right. You got to figure out something when you when you when you grow up in Gary. So. And brother, I can't talk because I'm from Chicago, and they shot sixty five people this week. Oh, weekend that's right. That's in right. Chicago. Yeah. So I can't. Well, man, we we trying to take Gary's record. Um, right. So you just grew up singing. Are you self taught, or did you go through like? Did you go so I went to a performing arts course? high school um, called Emerson School of Performing Arts in uh, in Gary? So it's a school kind of based off LaGuardia in New York. And then, okay. um, and then I went to Columbia College, Chicago, and I love school. that. Yeah, is that right there on Michigan Avenue? Mm-hmm. They basically, oh, as I, you know, they basically own all the downtown now. Oh, uh, they're awesome. That's, that's yeah. I awesome. love that school. Yeah. I wanted to go when I was younger and didn't have the money or the grades, but I walked through the halls and fantasized about it, man. Oh man. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. What was your major? My major was musical theater. Yeah. Wow. So you're a song and dance man. <laughs> you know, Let me ask you, do you do monologues? I haven't performed monologues outside of shows in a long time. So when I do a monologue, it's usually already associated in the show. My first monologue was um, when I, you know, had an audition way, way, way back in the day. So I, I, I could feel where that was going. I was like, I can't do a monologue for you on the spot. However, I no, haven't no, done no. a lot of I wasn't going to do that. Okay, okay. Right. I wasn't going to ask for monologue on the spot. I was going to ask for something different. I was going to ask you to get in our monologue verses. You know, they have music verses. Uh -huh. We're doing a thing here where two actors go head to head with monologues. Oh, they wow. They do monologues, and we have acting coaches and acting teachers and casting directors who come on the show. And on that show, they both get four to five minutes to do mm -hmm. a monologue. Either they can both do the same monologue and see the differences and the nuances, or they can do two completely different monologues, and then it's judged at the end of the show. Oh, so wow. I was just going to ask you to throw your hat in to the monologue versus, and on one of these Fridays, we'll call you through to monologue it with us. Oh, okay, okay. Or maybe I could sit on the other end and be like, you know, and because uh, you'd be one of the judges. I've been doing oh, a lot of teaching and coaching and stuff too. So if you ever need somebody that's as a, as you a could be one of the judges. I could do that. I'm definitely putting you down as potential judge. Oh, okay. 
I don't know if you remember me because my hair was much shorter last time we hung out, but I was the co-chair of the festival last, uh, in 2019. And I came to your show and all that. We hung out and I didn't have none of this hair on my head. I kept looking at you and saying, why do I know this Negro? That's where that's it's where it's pandemic fro. Everybody has one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pandemic fro. Oh <laughs> man, yeah. yeah. Just a while. It's good to see you again, brother. Good absolutely, you too, man. Yeah, absolutely. But I'll put you down as a potential judge because okay. you scared to do the monologue. Um, did you hear that part? As what? <laughs> I, I said because you scared to do the monologue. And then maybe do a monologue. Uh-huh. You scared to do the monologues. What I said, you scared right. to have a guy with the monologue and give you all one, two, you know. But that would be but you know what? That would be something different for me. And you know, this year I've been all about like challenging myself in new ways and stuff like that. So I'll I'll stay open to the idea. I've never really been stay a part of that idea. Stay open to yeah, the idea. Yeah, as much. yeah, yeah. yeah we have had some amazing monologues on the show. Mm-hmm. And they weren't in any competition, but I put on at least 14 different people who've done monologues and 11 of them wrecked us. 11 of them changed us emotionally. I mean, they came in and did the dog and thing. About three of them just walked through it. They knew the lines, but it's a different. <laughs> uh-huh, you yeah. know, as an actor, it's a you different. embody that, yeah. Yeah, if, if, you, if we don't feel it as the viewer, you didn't even have to, you didn't have to mail that me in. You could stay at home, watch Law and Order some shit. You ain't have to come in here messing up our day, you know. So right. giving them some mediocrity, right? What was your favorite part that you performed? My favorite role that I performed, well, I want to say probably my groundbreaking role that changed everything for me was um, when I played Jackie Wilson in the Jackie Wilson story at the Black yes. Ensemble Theater. So I did that for three years. Jackie Taylor is is a genius. She's like like my theater well, mom. We did the theater festival in D.C. Did you uh-huh. do it there? I did, yeah. That's when I first heard about you. Wow. I first heard about you, and everybody, oh, he's coming, he's doing Jackie Woods. I said, I ain't never heard this man. And it's <laughs> no, he's coming. You did the same theater I did. And then I looked up, and there you were at the National Black Theater Festival. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, you killed it as Jackie. Oh, wow. man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so wow. I would say that's, that's been one of the groundbreaking roles for my career. I'm just so grateful. Oh. Getting to start in Chicago. I don't know if you remember, like, Chicago Theater Company and all of that. So before I had a career on Broadway, I worked almost for, like, 10 years in Chicago, exclusively doing Black theater, pretty much, um, with CTC and Black Ensemble. And then I did some stuff with the Goodman, too, but yeah. Dang. So you a for real actor, though, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't playing at this, dude. You just put in the work, baby. You know what I'm saying? Put in my 10,000 hours in these streets. I love it. I love So now, are you currently on a project? Right now, what I've been doing is doing more developmental projects from the from the ground up. I'm working on my transition from theater into television film. So um, mm-hmm. I just moved out here to L.A. a few years ago. And before that, it was 10 years on Broadway, originating roles and stuff like that. But now transitioning into doing television film, it's been great. Um, I've been meeting a lot of people, and I've, you know, i just got a spot on the show um, called Stuck With You, so I, I enjoyed that. Mm-hmm. And then I'm a part of this Mahalia, Mahalia Jackson film starring Lettucey. Um, And so I'll be playing Duke Ellington in that, and that'll be coming out sometime soon. Wow. And in addition to that, I've just been doing my own kind of like um, comedy skits on online, um, kind of like yeah. conscious comedy. So I did yeah. like interview with different zodiac signs, and so I interviewed each zodiac sign and I personified them, and then I did the love languages, and I personified each love language, and so kind of did it like that, and uh, that's oh, been where, where, where are you doing that at, the show? Uh, the, 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 the show Stuck With You? Right, where are you doing it at? Where's the performing it at? Okay, so that, that's, that's the television show on right now. And it's on right now? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I think I'm actually coming up on the next episode. I think I'm on episode five and they're on episode four right now. I think it's on BET Plus. Yeah. I love that. I love BET Plus, though. Yeah. It's out of the, my movie's on BET Plus. Thank you, ladies Come on, now. Come on. Please don't. Oh, and just got a new show on BET. We just did a thing called Rich and the Ruthless. Well, this is the fourth season, and it opened on the 13th of this month. 
It opened on BET. So why I love some BET. Oh, now, congratulations. Thank you, brother. Congratulations. I, I want to be in a scene with you. I want, okay, why don't you do this? Why don't you do this? If you won't do a monologue, why don't you find us a two-man scene? Okay. Send me a copy. I'll learn my part. You do your part. And on a split screen like this, we'll do the role. Okay, that'd be fun. That'd be fun. I dare you. I double D dare you. <laughs> Listen, people ain't no match when somebody's a comedian. You got to be like, you just go with the flow with them because they'll, they'll, they'll kill you. They'll destroy I'll you. do drama with you. Let's go. I will do a drama scene with you one on one. Absolutely. Okay. You're going to try to find us one for real? Don't play because people listen to you. Okay. The <laughs> real <laughs> news is that exploded. You need black to take a note. All right, right. All right, I'm with it. All right, I love that, man. Okay, tell people how they can find you because I know you got stuff on the internet. You just said it. How can they find you? So um, I'm under everything under uh, Chester Gregory, so just the at sign and then just combine my name, Chester Gregory, and uh, you'll be able to find me that way. Everything, TikTok, Instagram, all of it, Facebook. Yeah, join me there. I love how you make that easy, you know? Yeah, Some yeah. Weird thing, just find me at XR2ZZEE with an X <laughs> with a small I in their Roxbury. Right. What? Right. You know, no, 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 man, the same way, Michael Kaya, that's it. Yeah, that's I'm putting nothing else on that. It's just Michael Kaya, you know? Yeah. If you can't find me, you ain't looking for me. I'm in the Yellow Pages, and they don't even sell the Yellow Pages no more. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. You 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 quick with the with, with the yeah. You ready? You ready to go? I remember you walking around with the chicken all the time. This chicken is very popular yeah. too. He's been he's been getting down, man. You know. When we do the press every morning at the festival. You would have the chicken with you, like this, this, this on stage goes. now. If I go on and do a concert, they yell out. If I don't have a chicken, where's the chicken? They act like I didn't bring my family member. My spouse didn't come. <laughs> <laughs> And I have to say this, your story is incredibly inspiring. Um, your show is incredibly moving and Thank just you. just learning so much about your journey and all the obstacles you've overcome and how you have, how you now manifest that into sowing into others. So thank you for that. Wow, brother, I appreciate that. Thank you, man. Why well, you got such a great heart? What's your sign? Sagittarius. Agisarius? My brother's an Agisarius. Is that <laughs> December 12th? I'm December 10th. My brother's my favorite brother. He's December 12th. When are you? When February you? 9th. Aquarius. Oh, we do good together. We do well, you know, we both crazy. Sagittarius right, right. and Aquarius <laughs> both have mental issues. They can play it off and hide it, but really, something's very wrong. How you have a favorite brother and say that on national TV here? How, do you, how can you do that? I say that everywhere I go, and it's because we used to do crack together. I think that made us so close. You know, sometimes if you go down a harrowing road with somebody, it makes you that much tighter with them. You know, it's a level of trust you can't really define. Where'd you go, Chester? Uh-oh, can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. I was just, but I can see you, but you was doing that. Oh, my mom, my mom texted me, so I had to tell mom I was going to call well, her. Well, everything stopped when mama contacted me. <laughs> I ain't mad at I was like, I told mom I was on the interview, but you know, she still called, you know. She don't care. She don't care. How great, how great is it to still have your mother? It is wonderful. Um, I remind myself of that every day and just, you know, and I'm grateful. I'm, I'm, I'm truly grateful. She proud of you? She is. She is. You know, when I'm not getting on her nerves or she's not getting on mine because we're both Sagittarius, which uh -oh. means we both most. I don't think two Sagittarians get along. <laughs> <laughs> I you know what? So. The I have a love hate relationship with my sign, so I will either love other Sagittarian or I can't stand them, can't or both at the same time. There's wow. no in between. What's you your know? sign, David? I'm Virgo. Oh, Virgo. I'm, okay, I'm yeah. Virgo. I get along with everybody. I get along with everybody. But yeah, I understand something? that mom. I like, I like that mom uh, connection. You know, it's like, Michael, where am I going tomorrow? Tell me. I, I'll let you say. Where am I going tomorrow? My day off. What am I doing? Uh, uh, your day off. I don't know. What are you doing your day off? You go going to my mom. I'm going to my mama's and cut her lawn and sweat like that, a slave. That's what you told me. <laughs> oh, that's see, that's a good son. Which remind me, I got to cut my grass today. 
I wish you wouldn't have said that. I was so conveniently trying to forget that. So later tonight, I'd say, dang, baby, I forget. Now nah, he just spilled the beans. Brother, it's an honor having you on the show today. You know, you, make our, you, made, you made our Thursday wonderful. We're going to march into Friday and kill the game now. Mom. And make your Monday, make your uh, day, your morning day, just wonderful and awesome. Why not? Why not right. choose joy? Why not choose love? Why not choose kindness? If you can choose to be anything at all, why not choose love? You know? Right. So, man, I appreciate you. I'm bringing you back. I dare you to find a scene. I, All right, I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a look, look up something like August Wilson or something. Give us some drama. Oh, sh let's spar with it, you know? Wow, let's, let's wow, make it that Denzel tear. See, I didn't mean for you to go in that deep, okay? I'm thinking <laughs> the pedestrian, the pedestrian play somewhere, maybe August. something. Don't no, no, no. say it. Take a note, it is done. It is done. Wow. That's rough. If you come with that one, that's gonna be a real challenge. I will take you. I will take any challenge. But that's. I think that's you'll rough. enjoy. I'll, I'll I'll send it to you. I think you'll enjoy my interviews with the signs. I personified each one of them, and I think you'll particularly enjoy Aquarius when I interviewed Aquarius. What do you mean you interviewed a, a person who's an Aquarian or the? What I did is I played both roles, and so I interviewed each sign, and so I was an interview interviewer. <laughs> I was also the sign. So I started with Sagittarius, and I roasted Sagittarius the most. And then I went on, you know, I went do, doing the signs backwards so I can cover everybody. And so, so how did you do both of them? You did one, you shot, you shot it just shot you one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I shot the other, and then I just spliced them together. Yeah. I want to see that. Is that posted somewhere we can go to? Yeah, yeah, it's on Instagram. It's on Instagram, yeah. On Instagram under Chester Gregory? Under Chester Gregory, yep. I'm, I'm going to send them to you. I'll send you the Aquarius one first. I love that. Send it to me. And where are you at? What city are you in? I'm I'm in LA. Dude, we gotta hang out. We gotta hang out. Yeah. I didn't know you were in this town, brother. Yeah. Uh, you're a real actor. Thank you, man. That's Thank awesome. You. That's awesome. Well, Kelly thought of you. She was like, oh, you gotta get Chester on. He'll be perfect. I was like, yeah, that'd be perfect. Who is that nigga? Who that? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Who you that? Yeah. Man, that? man, thank right. you. Hey, oh, do me a favor, man. man, and I got your number locked in now. You yeah. smoke cigars? I don't, because I sing. Oh, yeah. Not um, good. Not good. But, okay. But we can we can figure out we can figure out something. Yeah. You can come to the cigar place and we can stand outside with your air okay. and, <laughs> and I can blow smoke the other direction. <laughs> Thank you, right. Virginia. What a wonderful, magical laugh. And you got all your teeth. You must have 73, 74. You <laughs> right. All of them. You know, my mouth is half my face. And so, yeah, yeah. Wait, I knew a guy out of Chicago. We was talking about him on um, on the show called 5150. You know that show with, um, who show is that? Who show is that, David? Uh, Corey. Corey Holcomb's show. And we're talking okay. about uh, Skull Bubba. There's a pimp out of Chicago named Skull Bubba. Skull Bubba gets six teeth. Do you know how much confidence you got to have to pimp when you ain't got but six? <laughs> he, and then he gave up pimping to become a comedian. So he would do comedy, and he have a girl who I swear looked like she used to be in that nightlife. She would come out <laughs> and roll out a roll of toilet tissue before he came out. Then he walked out three piece suits, diamonds, hat broke down, alligator shoe. He walked down the toilet tissue and he said, I have a lay down that tissue because I'm the shit. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and he said it with six teeth. Okay, I'm sorry. Anyway, we got to get out of here. Can you uh, once again tell us how do we find you, Chester? Yeah, so I'm on all social media under at Chester Gregory. All right. You're yeah. amazing. Your energy is fantastic. Thank you for being here today. Leave us with a woo woo woo. Woo woo woo. Can you woo woo woo? <laughs> Thank you. God bless you. Happy Thursday to you. And thank you for being here. God bless you. That was good. That was good. That dude. I'm dead.